Yo, what is going on everybody? It's that awesome guy, me seeks Malik, with another video for everyone here. If you know by the title of the video, you're obviously here for that reason, which is jailbreaking your PS3 without a E3 flasher. So I did a video on this last time, but it wasn't the best video, so I'm gonna redo that step by step very slowly for everybody because it seemed like on that last video people were having a lot of problems so I figured I'd do it again so make sure you do leave a like if you're new hit that sub button also follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that you can stay up to date with me and get notifications when I am doing a giveaway such as the uh, Call of Duty World War 2 giveaway I am doing now so yeah go ahead and hit that sub button stay active let's get into the video Alright, so to start this off, I have compiled a list of downloads you will need to uh, download. Obviously, you're going to need a computer and a, a flash drive for this. So, yeah. The first thing will be a lowest firmware checker to do, see if your PS3 can be downgraded to the lowest firmware or to 3.55 or lower. If your PS3 cannot be downgraded to 3.55, do not do this at all if it can uh, go ahead and get the download you do not need to download this if you know your PS3 can be downgraded to 3.55 or lower so you can go ahead and skip like a few seconds or a minute or so to the next step but if you are not sure go ahead and download this uh, file open up your uh, flash drive your flash drive root and in that root, uh, well first make sure that your flash drive is formatted to FAT32 before anything. Uh, you can check it by going to properties on said flash drive and you can see the information there. If it's not formatted to FAT32, go ahead and do that now by following the steps. I'm not going to do it obviously because it's already formatted to FAT32 and I don't want to lose the games and shit I already have on this flash drive. So. Once you do have that done, make a folder called PS3, name it PS3, all caps, obviously, and the next folder would be update, all caps, again, obviously, and inside here, uh, you do not need an OFW folder or anything, that's just me being neat, but what you want to do is go ahead and put that firmware checker inside of that folder in your, uh, in your flash drive, and once that's done, go ahead and close out of everything, uh, the well don't close out of the uh, web browser we're gonna need that for later but close out of any pop-ups and whatnot that might be there so let's go here over to the PS3 alright so on the PS3 console uh, what you want to do is go ahead and pick any profile that you have on there if it's just one then you go ahead and pick that one profile all right, now before I start this off, I just want to show you that this console is not jailbroken. It is actually on the latest firmware right now, which you need to be on 4.82. So what you want to do is go ahead to updates, go to media storage device, and go ahead and check with the uh, firmware checker. Mine is update data of version 2.70 or later, so I can downgrade to 2.70 which is past 3.55 which is good if it's on 3.55 or yeah if it's like on 3.55 it'll still be good if it says anything above 3.55 there's a chance that you can break your console doing this exploit so I would not do it at all if you're not if you're unable to get uh, downgrade to 3.55 or lower so if you have a PS3 already with that, well, that's good. Let's continue on with the other steps. So now what you want to do is go ahead and download these files uh, next, which is the Nanor write file. Uh, Ferox, and you need to download the QA toggle. All are in the description, as well as a written tutorial if you... I prefer to do it that way or you do not understand shit that I'm saying because you speak a whole nother language but yeah I'm pretty sure you still wouldn't understand that alright so once you have all of the files downloaded go ahead and open up this one right here do not worry about the other uh, 
other things all you need is this folder right here this is the main folder the important uh the important item in the in the exploit so ignore the rest of the stuff only grab the folder put the folder in the root of your flash drive it will save this uh as you can see right here um make sure it goes in the root and not in any other folders it must go directly there this folder right here so go ahead and drag and drop into there open up the folder click on this file copy it do not cut but copy go back and paste it also in the root of your flash drive uh this seems to work well for me i'm not sure if i'm supposed to have it in there or not so i made a copy of it obviously now what you want to do is go ahead and copy the ferox uh custom firmware to your update folder of your hard drive and rename the custom firmware to ps3 update that's all you got to do right there and also go ahead and drop the QA toggle in the root of your flash drive because you will be needing that also in this tutorial. Now, it's pretty straightforward, easy to do. The only way you can get this wrong is if you put the hex files in the wrong place, uh, such as, I don't know, inside a PS3, inside the PS3 folder or inside some random other folder and which you need to make sure it is in the roots of your hard not hard drive uh, in the root of your usb flash drive so that when you have it in your psp uh, shit, in your ps3 jesus uh and you open up the web browser to do the exploit it's going to read the files directly from the root of your hard uh of your flash drive so make sure that you do have that in the root of your flash drive uh, the folder and the file and so on you know as I as I have it so make sure that you do have the flash drive in your PS3 on the I would say the right uh, USB ports next to the uh, the blu-ray disc drive and make sure that you can see usb device on your ps3 so once that's done go ahead open up your browser the web browser and if you come directly to this website or any other website what you want to do is go ahead up to tools and change the home page to use a blank page obviously uh, what you can also do to ensure you know it goes well is delete the cookies delete the histories delete the cache and everything else because uh, why not I mean make 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 sure you do it if you think it will help in uh, the exploit it might help I don't know I do it just to make sure uh, I get that one time so close the browser once you're done and reopen it once you are ready to go on with the exploit so now what you want to type in the web browser is readthetrainer.com r-e-d-t-h-e-t-r-a-i-n-e-r.com forward slash ps3 forward slash and it will send you to a website it will send you to this website right here once you're on this website, <clears throat> go up to the blue bars up there and click on the one that says PS3 4XX Nor NAN Writer. Not the other ones, the Nor NAN Writer. Um, it's important that you do click there. Next, it will send you to a page that says PS, well, no, it'll say 4.82 Nor and 4.82 NAND. Uh, if you have a NAND console, which is usually the fat PS3s with the four USB ports, fat PS3s with the four USB ports are the NANDs. You click on that. Uh, if you have a NOR console of uh, the fat and the slims, two USB ports, click on that. Now, once you're on this webpage right here, 
you want to go ahead and hit the select button on your PS3 controller and it will send you to like a bookmark type of uh, it will say add to bookmarks what you want to do is go ahead and add that web page right there close the browser reopen the web browser and once you get into the web browser push select again and go directly to the page hit OK on that it doesn't matter now right here you want to click on uh, write to nor flash memory so go ahead and click on it and what you have to do is wait for it it'll either say success or it'll say uh, triggering exploit failed reloading please wait give it some time it might even tell you to refresh if it does go ahead and refresh and you will surely get success if you put everything all the files in the usb in the correct folder and have it in the correct usb port so once it says success you have to wait i say around a minute for uh, for your console to turn off on its own if your console does not turn off on its own and froze make sure that it did not freeze on success uh if it does not turn off within five minutes you want to go ahead and reset and try it again if it froze reset try it again now on this success uh move your cursor around to make sure that again it did not freeze and once it does turn off just turn the console back on so let's wait this out All right, so now I have a blank screen. My PS3 just beeps like three times and then turned off. Now all you have to do is turn your PS3 back on and wait for it to boot up. Once it's done booting up, you can now go to the update section and update from media storage device. Don't worry about that at all. Just push circle. If you want to go ahead and let it check it, let it check it. It doesn't really matter. but once you uh, do have that finished, go ahead to the updates section and update via storage device and download or update, up update the, to the Firefox uh, custom firmware and if for whatever reason it tells you corrupted data, redo the exploit, make sure that you have all the files in the correct places as you've seen on mine and then give it another try or delete the save file that is in there and re-download that same save file make sure that everything's in the correct place make sure the flash drive is formatted to FAT32 and make sure that it is in the USB port that is next to the Blu-ray disk drive just that's it to avoid all errors in uh, yeah just to avoid all errors that that's all you gotta do backtrack and redo the steps and you're done so my it my uh for some reason my capture card did not show it going through the update so basically I just yeah I'll, I'll just you know cut to the part when it's done so uh I'll be right back all right so I'm back I somewhat fixed the issue with the capture card and now what you want to do once you're uh, finished if you doesn't don't already have it set go ahead and turn on your console if it does not reset on its own and you should see the Ferox logo as you are booting up now what you want to do is go ahead and sign in and you will see install packages on your uh, on your PS3 uh, under the games section you will see the app and you will see install package files open up install package files and install the hobbit QA toggle from the USB obviously and once you have it on there go ahead and open up toggle QA now don't panic it doesn't send you to any certain menu or anything it'll just go to a blank black screen and then send you back to the XMB or cross media bar or the home screen for people that don't know uh, once that is done go down to 
uh, the settings go all the way down and on your controller you want to go ahead and push the following uh, combinations all at the same time it will be L1, L2, R1, R2 down on the d-pad and push in the two analog sticks and you should get this right here so now that all that's done go ahead and open up the debug setting and go down until you see something about updates uh you will see it really soon uh system update debug go ahead and turn that on and bam you're done you can install rebug or any other firmware that you are comfortable with um, if you did find found this helpful, please go ahead and do leave a like, subscribe for that, J just subscribe to stay up to date with me and whatnot. Uh, also, if you're in to get the Call of Duty World War II giveaway that I'm doing, uh, stay active. I'm your boy Meeseeks Malik. Peace out until the next video. See ya.